Hey everybody, this is Dave Bursu. Join me this summer. I'm going to be driving across the country pursuing my two favorite things. The two things I'm most passionate about. Baseball and comedy. I'm going to be going to ballparks all around the country and performing at clubs all around the country. And the cool thing is this. I'm going to be doing it with other comedians and I'm looking for the best fans too. I want to talk to you guys and find out what your passion is. Find out why you love the game. So join me this summer. Look for us to come to a city near you. Comic. This is the messed up thing. I'll do a show and be like this, and you know, the younger comics get this all the time. Good looking girls will walk up to him, they're like, oh, oh my god, you're so funny, I love you. What do I get? Oh my god, you're so funny, my dad would love you. I'm like, <laughs> really? Alright, this is Dave with Touch Em All Comedy and Baseball Tour. We are in Philadelphia, and when you're in Philly, what do you gotta do? You gotta do a cheesesteak sandwich. And the cool thing is, we're right across the street from the stadium, and they got a Geno's right here. So I'm gonna try my first Philly cheesesteak ever. It looks, it looks pretty good. Um, looks like they should have more meat in it though. <laughs> but I'm gonna give it a shot right now. In the words of Shrek, That'll do, donkey. That'll do. These are crab fries from Chickies and Pete's, and they're famous for these, right? So we're gonna try one of these. And basically, they're called crab fries, but I found out there's no crab. All it is, is it's like, you know, it's just the seasoning that you get for crab. I don't get it. You know, it's kind of like in Europe, how they put mayonnaise on their fries. There's like, it's like crab boil stuff that they put on here. Old Bay or whatever, you know? I mean, it's okay. The Gino sandwich was good. Because I got down into the good cheese and all the meat and everything like that, that was fine. The I, cheese is good, the best part. The cheese is so good. The cheese? Okay, so it's gotta be the cheese. So the thing about Philadelphia is the cheese. You gotta have the cheese whiz on the Geno's right. and you gotta have the cheese on, on this. So basically, you guys will pour cheese on anything and it's okay. Yeah. We came down from New York yesterday. Really cool drive coming down here today. We're going over to the game in a little bit. Check it out, smoking Joe Frazier, man. The Thriller in Manila. <laughs> with, with Howard Cosell talking about that stuff. Goth chicks are into Phillies baseball. <laughs> she had the big old boots on like Herman the Monster, man. Gave her the four inch lift. Uh, she had so much black mascara on. She was like, this. I think it was Alice Cooper's daughter. <laughs> Connie Mack was like the only manager to wear a suit. All the other managers, they wear the uniform. Connie Mack, uh huh. Connie Mack was the man. Oh, look at this. My, my first Phillies game. I'm all over it. Satchel Page again. I saw his stuff at the Baseball Hall of Fame. Robin Roberts, Gary Maddox. Man, the Giants should have never got rid of him. He was my favorite ball player on the Giants right there. And it was I was so bummed to see him come here to Philly. Dick Allen. Oh. He hit the first home run in the Amsterdam in 1965. 
in a regular game. We go to a different ballpark every year. Do you? Yeah, yeah this is our 17th year. Yeah. Right on. Two others over there, so. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, great. This is my 12th ballpark in the last six weeks. Okay. Really? Yeah. We saw Burley's perfect game on Thursday. No. We, we, did. we went to the Cubbies on Friday and the Brew Crew on Saturday. There you go. My daughter gets married three years ago. You know what our father-daughter dance was? Or is? You're gonna hear it at the seventh inning stretch tonight. <laughs> Take me out to the ball game. Really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That and was your first dance? That was the father-daughter dance at my daughter's wedding. <laughs> that and, is so cool. And, and the only people that knew it was myself, my daughter, and my future son-in-law. And you know, you got the whole dance floor to yourself. And when we turned around, everybody standing up singing with us, you know? That's so cool. And there's nothing better than baseball. I'm so excited. It's here to see a baseball game. Oh my, we got the Phillies and the Astros. Gonna be a heck of a game today. Thanks for joining us. This is cool that you get to see this. This is a good looking ballpark, man. Very comfortable. Number 16. I must say this about the seats here in Philadelphia. It's very comfortable. <laughs> see, now here's the thing. In Philadelphia, Philadelphia is 34 and 64. The Giants are 40 and 63. My team and your team are the two worst teams. So, in honor of Philly being having the worst record, they decided to do something on like a fan appreciation tonight. They gave free tickets to everybody in the stadium who came dressed as an empty seat. And look at how many people got free tickets tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, all those, those, those aren't empty seats. Those are people dressed like, like empty seats. They're all in blue. That's a bummer, man, you know, that, that more people aren't out here, but I get it. You know, it's tough being with a team when, when they're doing bad. Although I'll say this, at Tony Luke's, the line is still packed. Maybe that's where everybody is. They're not in their seats yet because they've been waiting since before the game to get the cheesesteak sandwich. The real taste of South Philly at Tony Luke's. Oh, there's a deep drive. But I was really looking forward to these seats. I like being on the rail. I think this is the best way to watch baseball, just like this. Because it's like being in the dugout and being on the rail. Oh, better swings on a porch. What was up with that? Everybody dance. We're going to find some fans to talk to and uh, just find out more about the team, but it's very different. Like I said, it's just a strange feeling. I don't think I've ever been to a ballpark this empty. I mean, this is a Wednesday night. They're the worst baseball team in the league, and you see how many people come out, how many people are supporting them and stuff. That's really a testament of the market. And you're still hanging tough with your team. Always got to. Oh, yeah. Right? I'm always going to be a Phillies the city. fan. Part, part you know? of being a Phillies fan. Yeah. I mean, we, we've, we've had heartbreaks in every sport, but it's really just a matter of, uh, you know, supporting them while they're down and, and you're with them when they come up, right? We've been fans since we were little kids. I mean, we're, we're, we're both uh, early 27. 90s, so, probably. yeah, early, early 90s. 90s. So we got to see one world yeah. championship in 08. Um, yeah, that you know, was we were good. freshmen in college, so that was pretty cool. Ever since then, it's been rough. It's been rough <laughs> here and there. Uh, we yeah. still try and go out to games every year, so. Yeah. I haven't heard anybody in the country talk about four for four fans. What is that? Well, in Philadelphia, it's a very common term. I mean, we have two sports radio stations. That's how big the market is. But four for four is all four teams. Okay. And, and that's, the, that's the Flyers, that's the Sixers, Eagles, and of course the Phillies. Um, and all of, four of them are right, or all, all four teams play right here. Yep, yeah. all, all within a quarter yeah, mile yeah. of each other, Very all these close. stadiums here. I mean, you can imagine when it's like come October when all four teams are playing. Because they'll have games on the same day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you done that? 
Oh, double tip? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, that's a thing. Funny. All right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you guys have done that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My first, uh, first one I ever did was Phillies during the day, Sixers at night. But then uh, my most, most recently I, in the fall, I did Flyers during the day and Phillies at night. So that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, trust me, we, we definitely know we have a good opportunity here. We go to a lot of games. There, there's some rare days where you can do all three. Where it's, yeah, it's very rare. Have you ever done that? No, I never did all three. Oh, my, that my would be just, one of the things I hear all over, not only just from other fans, but I've heard it from ball players that this is a tough city to play in. It's it's tough to be a visitor coming in here. And that's that's a tough uh, reputation that we have, and that's not just with that's not just baseball. Yeah. It's a tough city to play in because there's a lot of expectation, and yeah. the expectation is from the, the hunger. Oh, here we go. Here we, here go. we go. Yeah, baby. Woo! I came to play tonight. Nice. Came to play. All right. You guys are excited. That's cool. Uh, 2010 season that was against the Giants and I saw a walk-off Ryan Howard walk-off and that's when it's the first time I saw Pence back in the stadium so you know I, I, that's, Pence is a guy I wish we held on to a little longer. I remember seeing a game like Chase Udley hit like three home runs that was great. Chase Harry Udley, Callis was that's still cool alive. to see I mean get yeah. three dingers in a game that's something else man. Yeah. Having visitors coming in and heckle uh, heckle the players and stuff like that how's that go over here? Uh, it, it, it's not going to go as smooth as it does in Canada. I was, I was just up at a Blue Jays game in September, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot different. Here, all you got to do is wear your jersey, sit down, and shut up. You can clap, but if you get over the top, you're going to hear it pretty much immediately. You guys, uh, and, and Philly's got a uh, reputation with, with uh, players please. coming in and going, I hate playing in Philly because it's just the fans are just brutal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. The flyers, other flyers. So here on a, on a yeah. Saturday, right where the bullpen is, that's the away bullpen. Right. So you can imagine on like a Saturday when there's a lot of people here, what kind of uh, stuff being said. So, so are you there. guys down there? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I've had, I had a friend get thrown out. It was right after the Cardinals got in trouble for hacking the Astros system. Okay. And my friend kept saying, Houston, we have a problem. Kept yelling it at these pitchers. Uh, I mean, it was pretty funny because I guess it was at the time. It was really ironic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say Philly's into cheese, but you got Philadelphia cream cheese. I mean, what the heck? But you guys are into your cheese because here we are at Fairmont Fries, right? Fairmont Fries, you can get cram fries and cheese. And if that's not enough, you can get extra cheese. Then you get boardwalk fries, and then you get a cheese cup. So you can get a cheese cup, extra cheese, and your cram fries with cheese to get all the cheese that you need. I mean, Wallace and Gromit would love Cheese grommet, cheese. You got you guys are just into your cheese here. It just blows me away. They even have souvenirs that'll get you into working out. If you take 40 stairs a day, you can eat that cheese. But if you can't do 40 stairs, you can't have the cheese. So now, Tigers fans. No! No. Phillies fans. No! Not Astro fans here either. Hey, no, no. no. How long have you been coming to, coming to games? About uh, seven, eight years. Seven, eight years. And how did you become a fan? Just coming here, having a good time, drinking. Yeah, but who, okay, so so alcohol <laughs> is what made you a Phillies fan. <laughs> Not always. Not, Not always. No, but, it, always but it's helped a couple, it, it yeah. Helped. I was going to say, it's, it's helped, helped over a couple it's years, hasn't it? It helps me a Phillies fan and be an alcoholic. Always. always. And you guys have been coming here for... No, oh, this is our first time here. We've been uh, going on... This is our 17th year. Oh, that's right. On a you baseball guys... trip. Yeah. First year here in Philly. Philly. We're having a blast. What started that? Where, where'd the idea come from to do that? It was Miller Park in 2001. When the Tarlick idea. Was being built. Uh -huh. I told these guys I'm going to the first game ever being played at the new Miller Park, and they said, we want to go too. 
Cool. And so let's start it, and then Jeff had PNC Park in Pittsburgh, new ballpark. He's from Pittsburgh. Okay, and, and PNC, tell me about PNC. Everybody has said it's a phenomenal a ballpark. Park. Great That's park. a great, great. park. Yeah. San Francisco's the best. San Francisco's the best? at and the best. And I've had a great time here, but I've read about ball pit players talking about being just abused when they were here. When they played for the Phillies, if they didn't perform well, they got abused by the fans. When they came back on, on opposing teams, they got abused. Well, I'll tell you what, we spent the last two days in Philadelphia, and the reputation of the Philadelphia fans, is, or people of Philadelphia, is so erroneous that you couldn't ask for nicer people. But, you know, my buddies and I, we've been doing this for 17 years. I think that's so awesome what you guys are so doing. Cool. And, and you know, the thing is, the, the game is the focus of why we come here, right. but the ancillary stories right. is what we remember. All right, you guys, this is Dave Pursue for Touch Em All Comedy and Baseball Tour. We just completed another ballpark right now. We just went and saw the Phillies beat the Astros, which is amazing because they spanked them. Uh, because I saw the, the Astros spank the Blue Jays 19 to 1, and they just lost 9 0. So that was great uh, to see, you know, because that's baseball, man. It's on any given day, any team can win. Um, we met some fantastic fans in there, met some really cool guys that, that four guys that used to work together, get together every year to go to a different game. They've been doing it for 17 years. They've been to 17 ballparks around the country. I, you know, I hope they're around for another 13 years and they can do all 30 together because that would be a great achievement to do with your friends because they all come from different parts of the country. So cool with that. Great ballpark all the way around. Had a great time here. I mean, God, everything here is great. Had a cheesesteak here. Oh, had one across the street and one here. I am so full right now. I'm dying, but it's okay, you know. All in all, gotta give you the thumbs up here in Philly. Just wish you had more fans out to have the thumbs up with. Other than that, what a great day, all right? This is Dave Bursu. We're moving on from here. Just keep checking us out at, at Touch Em All Comedy and Baseball Tour. You guys, Citizens Bank, we're out of here.